Hello, my junior geologists. It is day three of crafting with Roxy Rubble. And I am so excited because today is rock art day. And you know, rocks are my jam. So I'm so excited. Yesterday, as your paint was drying on your boxes, you were supposed to look at the rock that you had picked up when you got your kits for Geology Rocks Week. And hopefully you looked at it and maybe you decided to add a face like I did. Isn't she cute? This is a true pet rock that I've created. You might have put eyes, maybe you did it with paint, maybe you didn't get to it. And if you wanna do that now, that's perfectly fine. You could always pause these videos and go do the work and then come back and watch the rest of it. Maybe you decided it's a pretty rock. I'm gonna leave it as is like I did with this one. Here's something I didn't mention yesterday, but it's really cool. This was a beautiful rock, see, with these lines. But I went ahead and added Geo Rocks and the date 2020 to it so that I have a memory of this summer rock camp, which is really awesome. If I wrap that up, I can keep it for myself, but I also know somebody really cool who might love this because they love geology rocks. And last of all, here's yet one more idea. This beautiful thing I borrowed from my friend Marbeline, who is running the mandala art class, which I love mandalas. But this is a special painted rock. I borrowed it from her and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it and turn it into a keychain for her at some point. So it's a couple new ideas. If you wanna go ahead and do those, take a minute, go paint or use those Sharpies again, as long as your parents are cool with that. Um, if you're all ready to go with your pet rock or your pretty beautiful rock, I'm ready for you. Let's go get wrapping. Okay, so here we are ready to wrap our rocks. You can see I have my pencil. I have my little tweezers I brought just to show you how you can use those. I have scissors to cut my wire and then I got my little kit and I pulled out my keychain parts and my wire. And the first thing I have to do is unwrap this wire because it was kind of rolled up a little bit. So go ahead and pull your wire out. Now, while you're doing that, let me tell you something that's tempting to do is to bend and play with your wire. But the more you do that, then the more bends that you'll have in your wire, it won't be as straight, which also makes it a little tougher to work with. And it takes a while to straighten it out. This one I kind of played with, and look, you see those little bends? So, Try not to play with your wire too much. However, when you're first learning to wrap a rock, then you're gonna need to go back and maybe do it a couple times just to get it the way you want it. And it's okay, like I'll show you this one. I wrapped this one and I did it several times and the wire got really bent. But now I look at it and I say, oh, that's kind of cool the way that it is bent, it looks like art to me now. So it's okay, but just keep that in mind that it's going to take some practice and the more bent your wire is, the harder it might be to work with. So let's start with, I'm going to start with my pet rock and I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can wrap a rock. The hardest part isn't really the wrapping is what you're going to find out. Um, it's pretty easy because we're just going to put the wire down across the back, and then you have to hold it pretty hard with one hand while you wrap with the other hand. Now I'm gonna go crisscross around the rock because if I go across, even though I'm covering the little bit of the face, we wanna secure the rock in the wrap. So I just went from the bottom to a bit in the corner, and I'm gonna go straight across the back and then from this top down to this one with the idea that I'm really just trying to get that rock in there so it won't slip around. And I'm gonna go back up across 
across the back and voila around the top and that is feeling starting to feel pretty secure you can tell it's in there let me do that one more time and again you can stop this video i'm going to do it quick this time i laid it across the back flipped it held it tight then i went from one corner across to the other i have to move that thumb don't i then i'll press the wire down and hold it with that thumb I went across the back and down to the bottom and I again move my thumb and hold it down. Then I crisscross again in the back and across one more time. And you can play and move your wires a little bit. Now our rock is pretty secure. We can't leave our wires like this, so turn it around and this is the hardest part really, is getting your wires all tied off. I'm gonna take one in and thread it through just like a thread with a needle. I'm gonna go under one eye, wire <laughs> and then pull this tight. And this you're gonna find, you might need help with, is the hardest part, getting your wires tightened so that you can tie them off. I wanna make sure this is really tight. And you just have to keep working with it. Then I've got my starting end, can you see that? And I've got this end that I just brought across and I wrapped it underneath one of the wires to help keep it in place. Now I'm gonna twisty tie them together, just like you would with the twisty tie on your bread. You're gonna twist, twist really tight like that. And then I'm just gonna cut the ends because this is a lot more than I need. You don't need to use all your wire. You can have extra for something else. Now I want to tuck these wires. You either wanna cut them really close. Can you see that? So that they don't stick out and they, they can be sharp. So we don't want that happening. So I'm gonna pull these down using, you can use the tweezers or use your fingers. You wanna either tuck them under other wires so they're out of the way and this Again, could take some work or even the help of a parent if you can't get it. I wanna press these down and I'm trying to tuck them un under other wires. If that doesn't work, if you're struggling getting those tucked, and I apologize, I think the camera just does not want to focus this morning. Um, I'm going to cut those even shorter and you may again need a little bit of help from your parent getting this part done. But the idea is I want that where it's not really sticking out. It's got some kind of finished edge. And if it's still a little sharp, here's something I do. A little touch of, um, if your parents have a glue gun, they could put a dot of glue gun glue on it right there. Don't do that yourself, but sometimes that just helps to take the sharpness off. Now this is cute, but I can't attach it to anything. So here's the tricks for attaching. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you a couple little tricks that are helpful in any of your jewelry making or wrapping. We're gonna make a little link. And a link is kind of like, this is a final one. My camera, it'll focus. It's a lot like this little tool for your keychain that allows you to um, get something on there and loop it through a few times so it doesn't come undone. So let's make our little link. We're gonna do that by taking our wire like this and our pencil. And you're gonna take the end of the wire and hold it really tight with this thumb and finger. And then we're gonna go around two or three times. I'd say three times is pretty good because you're just starting and it's hard to get them really tight. So I'm, I've gone around three times. Now I'm gonna push these together a little and I'm gonna push it off the end and squeeze 
together. So it's a bit like a spiral is what we've created. The thing about that is we can hook that to so many things. We just need to cut off the little ends and if you need help, then you go get help. If you have safety glasses, by the way, I could recommend when you're wrapping rocks and doing work where you're cutting wire, it's always a good idea to wear some kind of glasses or just to be careful that you're clipping these and not um, maybe turning your head or making sure you're clipping it where the wire goes away from you. All right, I've made, I've, I've gotten most of it clipped off. You can see I've got this cute little spiral thing now that I could hook things to. I can hook it here to the keychain by spinning it through each level of this wire, right? One, two, three, and it's gonna get connected. So we can do that with anything now. You could connect this right directly to your little guy, or even better, take some more of your extra wire. And here's another trick we can make by, by threading some of our wire through, you can make a little hook at the top. All you have to do is loop it through and then do that twisty tie technique again that I showed you. But we wanna leave a little space. So take that pencil, put the pencil through here before you twisty tie. I want to do this at the top of my little guy. So I'm going to, before I twisty tie it, I'm going to pull it up and try to wedge it. This is where, again, you're playing with it. Now I've got it where I want it. Can do the same thing where we're just wrapping this around several times and creating a loop. right on the keychain, And that's probably one of the easiest ways to do it because then I can put it on something. I pull the pencil out, squeeze it together, and I can just loop it to anything now and it'll stay. Okay, so that was one really great technique. Our little pet rock is all wrapped. We have this cute little link that we can attach it to different things. I could put a ribbon through it. I could use this little claw clip. I could attach it to either one of these. So there is technique number one. So let's do another wrapping real quick. I'm gonna take another set of wire. And the first thing I'm gonna do before anything is I'm gonna go ahead and clip off a couple inches on this wire, just about the length of your longest finger. So take those scissors and again, clip away from you. And there's that little bit of wire. We're gonna set that to the side because I might need that to make another one of these. Um, so it's always good. I'm gonna find the middle. And I'm gonna do that by holding the two ends and then stretching it until I get to this end. I don't wanna make a bend here, but I just wanna know where the middle is. I'm gonna take the middle and my pencil. I'm gonna put my pencil in here, hold that wire tight, 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 and then it's time for some twisty tie turns. Just like with the bread tie, I'm gonna tie when you use the pencil, what's cool is I can actually use the pencil. I can hold the wire here and twist the pencil, or you can hold the pencil and twist the wires. So we're just trying to get it twisted. And I'm gonna twist it a lot because I'm trying to create this look in the back of my rock, which is really cool. So twist away for quite some time. And I'm gonna take one of my pretty rocks. I think I've twisted enough. I'm gonna pull out my pencil. 
And I want to be very careful not to close up that loop anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do now is to secure my loop against my rock so that it will stay in place. You use your thumb a lot to hold things into place. So I'm gonna grab my rock. I want to decide where the top is. The top's gonna be here. I wanna take my loop and I'm gonna need to hold it really tight while I do my first few bends especially. I wanna go around the bottom. I think that will be fun and it will also secure it. So I'm holding it. I've done my one little bend. Now I'm gonna flip it around and still hold on to that wire. Again, this is the tricky part. I'm gonna split my two wires up. Oh, they got a little kink. If they get a kink, that's okay. I'm gonna pull the wire apart. It kind of started twisting at the other end and that's okay. Now they're nice and separated. So I go back, pick up my rock again, put it in place again, hold it really tight, flip it over, and now I've got my wires split. I'm gonna split them to go wrap around this way and that way for the rock. And flip her back around to the side where this cute little hole is. And now we're gonna thread that hole with our wire. Again, this can be tricky because you've got to hold the rock with one hand while we're threading with the other. And if you need help, that's cool. But this wire is going to go in here. I'm going underneath the loop and back out. And do, do, do. Got to tighten. Oh, see how the loop is starting here? I don't want that to happen because I don't want it to twist. I want it to be straight. So keep watching where that wire is going. I'm gonna get it nice and straight. And then I'm gonna do the other side. So this is all the way through. I'm gonna put the wire over here so it's not in the way. I'm gonna switch hands. This thumb's gonna hold it now. And this is gonna go find the hole, go underneath the hole and out the top of the hole. And then pull, pull, pull it through and tighten it the other way. So I've gone now into it and back out. The gold is pretty on here, but I don't know if you can see it as well as I would like. Now you can kind of do whatever you want. This is pretty secure in here. It's got ties across the top, ties across the bottom. I just want to go again to make it look cool. I'm going to go crisscross up the back with one wire. And then I'm gonna crisscross the other wire to the other side. So I made an X. You can do whatever you want at this point. Once it is secure, you are good. So I'm gonna bring these together and I've gotta decide how I'm gonna end this. I think I'm gonna crisscross them in the front. and then twist them, twisty tie really tight and use the rock to help twist like I did my pencil. Twisty tie, twisty tie, twisty tie. And then look how that's looking pretty cool. I'm gonna twisty tie a lot because I wanna get it all the way where I can loop it through this in the back. Okay, now I want my, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my wires so they're even. See how one's longer? It's hard to thread them if they're not even. I'm gonna thread them through here. This is gonna be tricky. Sometimes you have to find an, a spot on the rock where it's a little low. I wanna get these two wires under this wire and that's gonna be tricky. Sometimes I need somebody's help or I just need to move this wire a little with the scissors. I made a little hole, not a big one, but a little space, I should say, not a hole, to get through. Here I go, yay! And I can pull them through 
make that tight like that. Okay. Now, here's the trick. When you do something like that, you can loop it around a second time and I'll stick it back down the same way. But here's a better trick. Only put one of the wires through. Let's try that again. And by the way, a lot of these techniques, it's easier if you watch first and then try it. Watch the video once and then go back. So I'm gonna separate my little wires just like this. I'm only gonna feed one wire through underneath so that when I tighten it, I'm wrapping my two wires. I'm gonna twist them again on the other side of the wire. You see that? So one's going under this wire and one's over it. So then when I twisty tie, that's gonna help secure it. It's also giving me a little place at the top to link it in. Now, just to help make even more secure. Oh, Sue, excuse me. I'm gonna do it one more time down here with these wires. I'm gonna feed one wire through under Oh, I'm gonna use these little tweezers to grab that and turn it just a bit so I can get it through where I want it. I'm feeding it under this wire here and I'm gonna do another twisty tie down here. So now it's going under two different wires which will make it even more secure. Then I'm gonna clip the edges and find a good place under here to tuck it so that the little edges don't get me. Or even here, before I tuck it, grabbing the ends with the, the tweezers and twisting a couple times really can help get those pointy ends out of your way. And we'll tuck it under here. You might have to shove it with tweezers or get a parent to help you. There we go, I've got mine tucked. When I turn it, it's wrapped, and I just need to add a clip here. Now this one seems like it might be a little loose here. I can always go back with other wire that's left over and add something between here and here. That little circle loop is really cool because I can go and twist something here. So part of what you're doing today, kids, is not only learning to wrap it, but then solve problems as you go. Because you're gonna find that every rock is different. So one technique doesn't work for everything. I've added this here and I'm gonna loop this through the top, thread it through, and twist it at the top just to add some security to keep it in place. And a lot of that jewelry making and rock racking, wrapping is just about playing and playing until you get it the way you want it. Now, that's more secure that I added this. Maybe if I were to do it again, I would go through the loop when I came around and twisted from there up would have been probably even more secure. That's what I did on this one. And now it's just making a little link for this one so we can connect it to something. So I've got my extra wire that I snipped off and I'm just gonna put that through here. And once it's halfway through, I'm gonna do one twisty tie turn or two just to get it on there really good and grab that pencil again. And this time we're gonna wrap it just like we did before to make that link. Wrap, wrap, wrap. I'm just gonna keep wrapping those extra 
wires in both directions. One went around this way and one went the other way until we've got our little circle, pull it really tight together. And this little edge here, this is again a, a tricky part. If you can't get it to go down, grab those tweezers and pull it and squeeze it. I just squeezed it until the wire isn't sticking out to scratch me or someone else. Perfect. This one's attached too now. How cool is that? Now, the more you practice, the better they're going to get, especially when you're doing little pieces like this. They're going to get better. You're going to learn how to work with the wire. So, two cute little dudes. So, that's it for today's Wrapping Rocks. I hope you had fun and learned something new. I do want to say when I first started Wrapping Rocks, I was not good at it at all. And I had to practice a lot and play with it and do it so many times before I got it to work out right. And even now there are days that I go to wrap a rock and it just doesn't work out. So keep that in mind that if you found today's art project challenging or you needed your parents to help you, that is so okay. Because what it means is you did challenge yourself to learn something new which grows your mind and grows your creativity. So remember that anytime you're trying something new. But I hope you've got techniques that you can practice or maybe it worked really well for you today and you have a beautiful pet rock that you can hook onto your backpack or a lovely keychain you can keep for your keys or give to a friend. So with that, Keep being creative and we will see you tomorrow.